Welcome to Talking Technology with NCBI Labs, where we believe that technology is the single greatest enabler for people with sight loss and all disabilities. If you are interested in the latest technology news, products, and innovations, then you've come to the right place. So Brian Manning of our labs team has written a review of the dot watch and we'll hear that in just a moment. But what was your experience of it, Audrey? First of all, I guess, what is it and how did you find using it? Well, um, it is a smart watch. Um, I found it interesting. I had it for a couple of days um, because I would be someone that would prefer a tactile watch over, say, a talking watch. But that's just my preference. Um, and um, I had I had access to the dot watch. Brian had loaned it to me, so it it is really really amazing piece of equipment. A piece of um, I found it big though, so it kind of comes in the one size. There's a wristband that it kind of sits on or slides, you know, sits on, and um, there is a home button and then there's a kind of a setup button. So it is it is very very clever piece of technology. You can be paired with your your smartphone as well, be it an Android or 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 um. Um, an Apple phone. Um, and overall, I did find it interesting. Um, there is, um, it is Braille or tactile, um, but it takes a little bit of uh, you getting used to the code, the Braille kind of read, being able to read the Braille on the watch. There's a four Braille cell, so it's it's quite small and it requires, um, you know, um, a little bit of time to get used to the, the, to the dots and, and how it's refreshable and how they change. Overall, I did like it. I thought it was amazing. Um, just the size, if it came in different sizes for different wrist width, it would be, um, I think, a little bit more of, of benefit to the user. I went back to use my old kind of conventional Braille watch or tactile watch. Um, and um, yeah, I, I think I probably would stick with the Braille watch for the moment. But there's a lot of benefits to the dot watch. For sure, it really is cool technology. So I guess what we'll do now is we'll have a listen to the review of the Dot Watch. This was written by Brian Manning and is being read by Robert Byrne. Labs product reviews. The Dot Watch Braille Smartwatch. In the latest of our technology product reviews, Brian Manning of the NCBI Labs team provides us with an insight into the first Braille smartwatch designed for people with sight loss, the Dot Watch. Item name, Dot Watch. Review by Brian Manning. Description. The Dot Watch is a smartwatch developed by South Korean company, Dot Incorporation. The device features a Braille display made up of 24 small pins, which help visually impaired users tell the time, receive texts, and notifications and read personal memos without a sound. Unboxing. What are my first impressions of the item? It is a good sized braille watch that fits nicely and decoratively on my wrist. It comes furnished with good support braille manuals and my natural impulse to research these devices on YouTube rewarded me with very good information video tutorials on the watch which found me away in a hack with it. I've been using this for a few days. How do I feel about it? I like it. It does what it says in the tin. I get access to the information I need in a well-organized and presented manner. Is it accessible? For a Braille user, it is very accessible. And as I have previously alluded to, the accompanying manual and support videos are well laid out and very informational. What did I like? The results it provides are quite literally at your fingertips. It is concise and it links well with your smartphone, which you link through the DotWatch app. What didn't I like? The four cells can be a bit restrictive, but that is the nature of what the watch has to be. Any more cells would probably render the watch impracticable. I would have liked to get greater access to my phone, such as answering calls, etc. Did it meet my expectations? It met my expectations, definitely. What improvements, if any, would I like to see in this product? It pretty much meets my expectations as it is. I know some service users have said they would prefer a smaller face, but I think this would not work as the four braille cells require a particular size of interface. I think in this case, we have to sacrifice on the aesthetic for the overall functionality of the device. 
would I recommend this item to others? For other Braille users, definitely. It is a bit expensive, but it is certainly worth buying it for the special Braille reader in your life. Is there other competing technology you have tried similar to this item? I have tried other smartwatches, such as the Apple Watch, but they are not really like for like. The Dot Watch is definitely unique when you consider the nature and manner of the information it gives access to. I've been a lifetime user of conventional Braille watches, and I have to admit that I continue to use them, but that is really down to the dinosaur nature of my personality. Thanks for listening to this NCBI Labs Talking Technology clip. For more, just like this one, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. There you can also find loads of full podcast episodes. They're also available on your podcast app of choice or in the NCBI Smart Hub.